Hello zusammen, welcome back to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Today I have some very, very exciting news. We have a citizenship and immigration visa update. These are always the best videos to make because it means that things are changing and things are becoming better here in Germany. And I am very, very hyped to talk about this because this is actually something that I've been waiting for for a very long time and it is the fact that Germany is soon going to be allowing dual citizenship which I feel like this is so massive it is absolutely massive I feel like there needs to be fireworks and a lot of excitement especially for all of you who have been living in Germany for a while and have always maybe wanted to get German citizenship but you don't want to give up your current citizenship this is absolutely major and this is exactly the situation that i'm in i have been here for over six years now and germany has always only had the option to attain citizenship by giving up your own citizenship and that is just something i do not want to part ways with so now that we're one step closer of course i am here with the updates and i will be providing updates as things start to progress and become official because at the end of September of this year, the draft law was approved to allow dual citizenship. However, it is not something that is official and law as of yet, but there are rumors that this will be happening early next year by April time. So it's very, very soon. So I wanna share with you some of the requirements that we know so far, and also some recommendations for you if you are interested in moving forward with this as soon as possible. Up until this point, Germany only allows dual citizenship for other EU countries, and you can only get citizenship, so full only German citizenship, if you have been living and are a resident of Germany for over eight years. However, with these new laws that will be coming into place next year, this will be changing so the requirements will be brought from eight years down to five years, which is absolutely major. Now, we don't have all of the information so far on exactly what the criteria are, but here are some of the criteria that we know so far. So you can apply for dual citizenship after five years, and you will also have to show that you have been contributing to the pension plan for the last five years as well. There has been a lot of talk back and forth about the language requirements and whether or not this will be decreasing. Now, right now, you need at least a B1 level in order to get citizenship. And they're saying that they will be a bit more lenient with this, but we don't have the exact criteria as of yet. I'm sure, of course, within the next coming months, we will have more info on that. But just based on what I've been hearing, it is recommended to at least have a B1 level in order to proceed with dual citizenship when it does become available. In addition, you'll have to show that you have statutory health insurance, that you are not on any type of social assistance, and also that you have no criminal record. So these are some of the criteria that we know so far. Now the Chancellor of Germany, Olaf Scholz, did recommend that everyone who qualifies apply for dual citizenship, which means that it is going to be very, very busy next year when it comes to getting all of this paperwork process and actually getting approved. So what does this mean for you? I am gonna give you some of my recommendations that I highly recommend taking on if you are in the position to apply for dual citizenship soon or you are thinking about it. First off would be to definitely brush up on your German skills, make sure that you are at a B1 level. And if you can get an exam, a certification that says you're at a B1 level, then that is even better because you will have all of the documents in place and leave less room for questions when it does come to your appointment. Of course, make sure that you have been contributing to pension, so you may wanna check up on that to see um, how many years you've been contributing for to make sure that you do qualify and of course just keep on top of the news that is happening because things are evolving um, so as soon as the green light is given for this and this is passed you can go ahead and put your application forward so I will definitely be keeping you posted on any changes so make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already 
If you have any questions, definitely let me know as well. And I would be happy to answer them for you. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share today. A very short video with an update, but a very, very exciting update. And I myself am very excited to proceed with this when the time comes. So I am doing all of the preparation myself to ensure that I can get this done um, come hopefully April time or sometime next year, but I'll keep you guys posted on my own progress. And yeah, I'm very excited for all of us uh, to do this. And I'm very excited that this is finally happening because this has been something that's been in the works and talked about for many, many months now. And now we are just one step closer. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you all in my next one. Cheers.